NimbleStream Alive Transcoder now allows building transcoding pipelines performed completely on NVIDIA GPU with its hardware acceleration. The transcoder is now able to run full video transformation entirely on GPU, which prevents from consuming server CPU and RAM. This is done using specific FFmpeg libraries, which we use in addition to our own code. This video will show you how to set up this NVENC powered processing chain. That chain will make downscaling for adaptive bitrate. The initial setup of Live Transcoder is described in our article. You'll find the link in the description. Read section 1 there for more details. We are on Transcoder Scenarios page and we create a new scenario. First drag and drop a decoder element. Enter application stream name of input stream and then select NVENC FFmpeg in decoder field. This will create the right decoder. One of its features is the ability to resize the frame during decoding even before engaging any filters. This operation is highly optimized and you can use it to reduce resource usage. Add resize parameters and enter image size like 1280 by 720. Notice that all forwarding features for subtitles and SCDE35 will work as usual. Now let's add some filters. There is a decent number of filters available for GPU processing. We will use some of them for demonstration. Now let's add split filter which creates several identical outputs from input video. Another useful filter is Scale NPP, which performs frame scaling. Add custom filter and enter its name. Then set the frame size. Let's make it 854 by 480. Now when we have a filter, let's drag and drop encoder element. Enter application and stream name and then select FFmpeg from encoder dropdown box. Enter 264 and VENC in coding field. You can add more parameters, please refer to FFmpeg documentation about that. Make sure all elements are connected. Now let's make additional pipeline. Add scale NPP custom filter for downscaling. Add FPS custom filter for changing frame rate of the stream. Now add encoder similar to existing one, just having proper name. So this pipeline not only downscales but reduces the frame rate to make lowest rendition. We now have 480p and 360p renditions. Let's add the initially downscaled 720p as output. Just add encoder and connect it to the split filter. All these filtering operations are performed on GPU, and the CPU is not engaged there. Last but not least, we'll pass through the audio for all three output streams. That's it. Read the article from description to find out more details about this feature set.